today is just some stuff from when we've hiked and it I was just I was ready to get back out on the trail. I don't know about you fellas. I'm telling you. It's you know, it's kinda like we were talking about the other day. Um, you know, when are we going? When are we going? When are we going? So right. ho hopefully That's exactly right. Yeah. All right, well let's get started. Hey everybody. See I went muted with it that time. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. It's It's been a while, but we had an opportunity to get live or come live on YouTube, and we wanted to get out here and uh, just let you know that we're still around and we're still out uh, hiking and, and out on the trail. And I just thought it'd be a great opportunity to come on tonight and talk uh, with, with two guys you're used to seeing on the show already, Rooster and Recon and Mike. Uh, both of them hey. picked up some, uh, hey, fellas. Both of them picked up some new gear, as you can see from Recon's shot there. Um, so we're going to get a chance to talk with him about uh, what he's done or what he's purchased and uh, compare that to uh, something that Rooster has. And then also talk about a, a gift Rooster recently got so that uh, he can he can check that out. We finally got one of us finally got our hands on one of those Gregory packs. So it'll be cool to talk to Rooster so he can just show us what that's all about. Um, and so just to sort of kick the show off, I want to give a little bit of news. You know, I'm, I'm always getting hit up on Facebook. Facebook um, and other Instagram, that sort of thing, with stories uh, coming off of the trail. And so I just wanted to bring up uh, one particular story since there's a lot of people who follow us who hike in North Carolina and Tennessee. Um, and so the bear activity this year has been pretty pretty significant. Um, and I'm not talking about like Yogi the bear, you know, grabbing your picnic basket. Um, there, This is, you know, a crime of opportunity where the bears are grabbing people's entire backpacks um, and bolting. Uh, hey, what's up there, Trip? I see you chiming what's, in from YouTube. What's going on, Trip? What's up, How's buddy? Um, and so, you know, just just to touch on this a little bit, I got some notes here. Um, Slick Rock Wilderness, which is up near the Asheville area. Um, there's several sections up there that are closed due to bear activity. And then on the AT, up around mile 451 to 464, there's a section closed completely to camping. You can hike through there. Uh, but don't don't camp. The bear activity is just too aggressive uh, right now, uh, and they're trying to get those bears to scatter. They're actually hanging out, which is not something a bear usually does. He grabs what he wants and then he leaves. But these this for whatever reason, uh, these bears are awfully hungry, um, and they're hanging around and taking whole packs at night. Uh, and you know, to to wake up and know you got to hike 20 miles and don't have your pack with you. Uh, that's not easy. I mean, it's nice to walk without your pack, but not without your food. So, uh, <laughs> not for that reason, right? Yeah, not that reason. So make, make sure you're hanging your picnic basket up in the trees appropriately. Uh, we should probably I, do an episode on that. Actually. I feel like next time, if we start with that similar type of thing, I need to get like a helicopter sound to go in the background yeah. to give you a little, this is the weather from the, uh, right. <laughs> breaking news, breaking news. Um, exactly. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a lot more things going on out there. We should probably talk about, but that people kept hitting me up on it. So I thought it'd be cool just sure. to share it with you. Uh, so, uh, you know, recon, man, I can't help but notice you, you got what, this chair. What you got there, buddy, man, what the heck did you buy? Well, so what, what <clears throat> well, Let's, let me start off by saying every single trip that we go on, you always see somebody else's gear that you're like, oh, yeah, that looks freaking awesome. I wish I had one of those. And that, or that I can't believe they're carrying time. that. Right? <laughs> That's more or, the or why am I carrying this? I should have carried that, right? And so, you know, AP or Rooster had a, had a chair that he hiked along that I, I got a little green eyes over. And uh, AP, go ahead and show him what that chair looks like. And I saw this chair that he had. I'm like, holy cow, he actually gets to sit in something rather than a log or a rock yeah. or the ground right. and dirt. And, you know, and I got to find something very similar. So I went out looking for something I could uh, actually get my butt up off the ground and not have to worry about sitting on a log or a hard rock or, or something like that. And that or also roll a log half a mile down a hill to get it to where you're. <laughs> 
planning on seeing. Not that, not that that happened that day. That may or may not have happened in real life. Yeah. Wait, so, is that is that the log he rolled at Shenandoah on the last night? Is that, yes. Is that, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So I got I got a gazillion questions. So I mean, some of these are going to be related to our our main topic about. Uh, you know, uh, the, the people of diverse body size and trying to find gear. We'll get to that question in a minute. Um, but I would like to say that, you know, there, there's a fine line and we're going to talk about this with Rooster here in a minute. There's a fine line between not carrying enough stuff because you want to be light and carrying too much stuff and wanting to be heavy. And I think as yeah. a group, as a group, we're really starting to define where that line is for us. And so Recon picked this chair up. So, so Recon, where did you get this at? What, what brand is it? So this is the uh, REI FlexLite Air. So this is the uh, renowned one-pound chair. Everybody says it's a one-pound chair, right? So the actual weight of the chair, drum roll please, is actually just a, the, 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 the frame and the fabric itself is just a hair under a pound at like 15.9 ounces. But as soon as you put it in the bag, it, it bumps it up to 17 ounces. So the bag's like you know, 1.1 ounces or so once you put in the bag. So if you wanted to get really critical here, you could eliminate the bag and just pack the chair, the, the frame and the fabric and you'd be down to uh, just under a pound. Uh, but the, but it, this particular chair has a capacity, 250 pound capacity. And I was torn between this one and the Helinox. <laughs> between this one and the Helinox, which uh, which weighs in just a little over a pound as well, that has a 260 pound capacity, but this one came in at a, at a price tag of about 70 bucks compared to the Helinox at 120, and my uh, my wallet was feeling the crunch, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go with the slightly smaller one and lighter one, and uh, and see how it goes. And so so far, I'm very ecstatic. And I'm ready so to get this thing out on the trail. Yeah, I out. have to I have to say I was over at Recon's house last weekend, I think it was. Yeah. And he pulled this thing out and I held it in my hand. And do not get me wrong, the reason there's two main reasons I I bought this chair when I bought it. Um one was it could carry my weight. And so there's this this particular one is uh, by a company called Trekology. You can find them on Amazon and everything. And uh, but it's it's a two pound chair. And if you go for an extra fifteen bucks or whatever, you can get this little thing, which is like a a a mat to go from leg to leg to leg to leg. Because if you get into a sandy situation or soft ground, uh, all of these chairs, and I think Recon, you can attest to this as well that. Agreed. In a soft ground, you're going to sink in because you're on a pretty, you know, small ending there, the, the, mm -hmm. the legs. So this gives you enough surface area that it doesn't go down in the ground. But this is another stinking like three or four ounces and could yeah. be made of much lighter material. It would be a little less durable. Yeah. But if you're, again, depending on that whole weight versus comfort thing and where are you going? Do you need this? If you need it, you put it in. If you don't need it, you know, maybe you leave it at home. I don't, I don't know, but, and the bag's not as light as that piece of air that is packed in. <laughs> um, but so it's, uh, it's two pounds. And the difference in holding these two things is, does not feel like only a difference of the weight of this one. This one feels more than twice lighter than this like just holding them I, I wasn't holding them side by side but just by memory of that that feel of grabbing the chair i take it to church on sundays you know stuff like that because we're having church outside in the park it feels a lot lighter just in your hand much less i can imagine on the pack so i mean if you're yeah. in if you're under the eighth of a ton <laughs> this is not i would i would spend a little bit more money and get that but the good news is you get the 300 pound capacity and you're under 50 bucks with yeah. this one so mm -hmm. it's even a little cheaper so you know it we always talk about the weight and the size and everything else the cost is always all obviously part of the equation for for i think 40 bucks 45 bucks you can have this that'll hold 300 pounds and it's two pounds so maybe you, you know leave something else out of your pack 
Yeah, so cutting cutting back a little bit of weight on the bag that it goes into is uh, is something that I've seen a lot of guys do. And you guys have seen my big my big food bag I have with my Sasquatch mm -hmm. backpack and logo on it. Yep, um, yep. Hilltop packs up off of Pennsylvania. They're out of Pennsylvania. I can't remember the guy's name is Ben. Uh, they do a great job. They actually make a bag that the Helinox will slide right into if you get the Helinox. Most of mm -hmm. these chairs are about the same size. So you yeah. want to do some measurements to find out. But one of the things Ben's, Ben's team will do for you is they can print a custom logo on that bag. Okay. So if you want to brand some of your own stuff just for the yeah. heck of it, um, it's pretty slick and it would give you an opportunity to save a little weight. So go check those guys out at Hilltop Packs. Uh, you can find them on Instagram, Facebook. I think it's hilltoppacks.com. Um, and they make, they make some cool custom stuff that you can get with your logo on it. Um, hey, we got a Facebook comment from Jay Lee Hammer. I really like watching you guys. Thanks, man. We appreciate that. Hey, we, yeah. we enjoy being here. We thank, so, we're glad you're here. Yeah, so Jay Lee, it's interesting. He hit me up a couple weeks ago on a day when I was like, why are we doing this anymore? Like, we're not getting anybody. <laughs> and that he hit me up, talked to me a little bit. He actually lives up up in that Shenandoah area, I believe. So it's cool that he's checking us out. He's he's listened to the podcast. I, I turned him over to the YouTube channel as well. Um, awesome. So that, that's pretty cool. So, um, all right. So item number one was Recon Mike's chair. So, you know, if you want a chair, get a chair. Don't don't hesitate to get a chair because it weighs a little extra. You know, Recon, his weight is low enough. He can he can deal in those 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 lightweight products. We'll call them. Uh, Helinox has a zero and a the, one. The zero is their, their yeah. The zero is their one pound chair. The one yeah. which is technically just a little over a pound, and their yeah. chair one is their two pound chair, um, and it's the same kind of price point, about one twenty from Helinox. Yeah, and we've seen it. There's a cool video out on YouTube. Uh, the Helinox, the guy calls it the 0.5, 0 .5, yeah. where he takes the frame of the one mm -hmm. and the cloth seat material uh, of the zero and uses them together. And but well, and his reasoning was so he's not a small guy. I, I don't know if he's above the the weight limit, the two sixty five or what, but. Uh, his chair zero failed on him. The frame did. Yeah. And so oh, he had okay. the fabric, but he had, he had a chair one that he wasn't carrying anymore. So by merging the two, he ended up with a lighter than this one, but heavier than this one and seemed to be able to carry the weight. So anyway, yeah. All right. I can't remember his, uh, forget his name. Anyway, it's John something. I, I can't remember. He's a pretty popular guy. Yeah. Uh, and heck, maybe we should reach out to him, have him on the show. Who knows? Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, okay, on, on to the chairs are exciting. But this next thing has had my attention since hmm, February, March, April. Yeah, it's been and, a little while. Yeah, so, and they had, I, I, I'm ecstatic. So I'm just going to let Rooster run with it for a little bit. And I'm going to stamp over the top of them and just start talking anytime something gets my attention. So have at it, dude. All right. So a few months ago, uh, a lot of you guys may have seen that uh, Chad and I got to sit down with uh, John Sears from Gregory Backpack, and he was talking about this plus line of backpacks that they were coming out with. And one of the packs was a, a Katmai 65. Um, and my wife watched the episode and, and evidently uh, may have hit Chad up on the, on the backside to make sure she had the right stuff and all this other kind of stuff. And, um, we ended up ordering my, well, my wife ended up surprising me for my birthday slash father's day, uh, which coincide pretty close to the same, but it came in the mail and it's kind of hard to hide a big old box coming in the mail, uh, with, with this. So I, I have it here in hand and this is the, the cat, my 65. And so right off the bat, there's a couple of things that, that I fell in love with. And you're about to see part of it. As I turn this thing around, you can see the width of the, the hip belt. Um, so it's not a thin hip belt. that's going to dig into your side for those of us that are, uh, of generous proportion. <laughs> um, one of the things, you know, that's one of the things we deal with. And because of that thickness and the length of that, uh, they were able to bring the actual pocket. First of all, the pockets are like caverns. Uh, I think Mike, you had a comment about, about it to, chat if i'm not mistaken what was that yeah oh, almost it looks like a uh, looks like a fanny pack for your hips on both sides yeah jay lee yeah, said no packs. we are yeah. fluffy, <laughs> fluffy <yeah. laughs> we are fluffy all right he could stick around <laughs> yeah. so like a fanny pack and in a sense i wouldn't go quite that generous but there's two of them so yeah exactly and like i've got a 
this doesn't fit in any hip belt pocket that I have until now. And it slides right down in there with plenty of room and you can close it easy to reach. And what I really like about it with them being so forward is that again, being a bigger dude, when I throw this thing on, can you guys still hear me? Okay. Oh yeah. We yeah, got you. Good. All right. When I throw this thing on a couple of things I noticed right away, number one, I don't need a hip belt extender, nor will I in the immediate future. Cause I got plenty of room to grab this thing and tighten down yeah, on yeah. it. And now I've got, you know, plenty of excess there too. Yep. The angle on the shoulder pads is a little wider, so it's not quite pinching up on me. Yep. A um, little hard to see with the angle, but so that and, and just the angle of the straps and how they're, they're coming around, it just, it fits really well so far. Like I'm planning on getting some miles with it. I'm super stoked. Um, the only, only slight well, the two two slight concerns if you're looking at a pack like this, this is made for comfort. Wide hip belt. It, it does have the, uh, I forget what their name for it is, but the arrow, you know, it's got a vented mesh pocket and some a little bit of airspace between your back and the thing. Yeah, just and, like those Ospreys that help help your back very similar. dry out. Yeah. Um, and so that that's something that's d different from my Baltoro. I love the way my back Baltoro carries weight, but um, but this is, I mean, for the large, medium, large size, so there's two sizes. Um, and it's the only difference in the size, as far as the, from what I can tell from their sizing chart, it's not about how big your waist is. It's about how long your torso, torso is. Torso is, Yeah. Right. So if you have in the same neighborhood of a 21 inch or so, like I do torso, I'm really long in the torso, then you're going to go with the large medium. And then when you get down, I think it's around 18 inches or so, you're going to switch to the small medium. Yeah. And and they call it, I mean, it's a small medium, but that that's in the plus size. So if you're looking on their site and you're a big, if you're a big person trying to find a pack that fits, make sure you find the little section that says plus sizes because they have the same pack in that's not in a plus size. And if you get that, you're going to you be a little frustrated off. that I lied to you and yeah. I did not. You just got to make sure you get the plus size one. Um, other than that, that I mean, background I, I, noise for me. Are you okay? No, you're okay. We're good. Okay. So, uh, the only other, like the, the other about the other Gregory packs I got did come with a cover. It appears that they've kind of changed their, uh, what used to be their kind of their, their way of going, which was to have it come with a cover. Um, because I cannot, I'll put it this way. I haven't found it if there is one and I can't find it in the literature. So I'm assuming it's not there. Yeah. Um, so, but, but that's okay. I tend to wrap my can't get wets in a, in a, uh, a trash compactor bag just to keep them dry and that kind of stuff. So it, it's not a big deal for me. Uh, but anyway, it's just one of those things that you should know at least. Um, when I go to the front of this thing, there's a mesh pocket, kind of like you see on your, on your other pack, uh, Chad. Yep. I've got some room for some stuff that maybe got wet or I want on the outside of the pack. But there's also like uh, another zip open pocket right here that's got a little separator for a mesh. And so you can put some whatever that you need to get fairly quick access to. You don't want to go digging down through the pack. So it's got from a from an organization standpoint, all this stuff does add up, though. Like, I love the pack. I like the fact that it's got all this organization. But you're talking about a five pound pack which is the exact opposite of what a lot of the other gear that we're going, like we're looking for three pound packs or one pound packs or yeah. two pound so, packs or whatever. So let me, so let me say that something there that'll definitely spur on more conversation. So, you know, I'm on, on my wall behind me are opposite ends of the spectrum. There's an Osprey AG, it's the anti-gravity 65 liter pack. It's a nice pack. It's well padded. It's a, it's a large pack. You can take the brain off of it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's that flap that'll end up on the top that can uh, hold some other stuff. And then over here, we have the Hyperlite. That's a Dyneema pack. It's almost frameless. It just has two steel rod or two aluminum rods in it. It's right at two pounds. It's nowhere near as padded as that other one. 
what we are learning as we go on further and, and get more experience. And I said this before there, there's not a lot that trumps, uh, there's not a lot that trumps a low pack weight as far as once I'm done that pack hanging on the wall, the hyperlight with, with everything in it, minus my food and water for a summertime trip is right at 10 and a half pounds. The only thing that, and I hate that, you for that. No. Yeah, I know. I, I know you do. <laughs> the only thing that trumps that is comfort. And so what Alan's talking about right there is that's a five pound pack. It's, it, there's no way around that. It's it's cut for a bigger guy. Alan and I are used to this. We pay more for jeans. We pay more for shirts. We pay more for everything that requires. But we don't pay more. But we don't pay more, in this case, for the backpack. Yeah. So in this case, we didn't. That's an important part to talk about is the fact that they were able to keep the cost of this backpack at a plus size at the same price as their normal size. Exactly. Um, which is something that those of us that buy extra, extra, anything that's, you know, you, all the signs, you see it all the time, extra, extra large, plus $5, plus yeah. $10, plus $15, yeah. whatever. So, yeah. And so, you know, I, I had the chance through, through work to cross paths with uh, rooster last week and put this pack on my shoulder with no weight in it, obviously. And that sucker is sweet. Uh, it feels good. It, it, I, I can't wait for, for him to get a chance to put some weight in that. Gregory claims they're sending me two packs to review, and, and, and Rooster and I want to sit down and review them again afterwards. They sent me the, the 45 Stout, which is a bright orange pack I'm pretty slick, pretty freaking happy about, and then an Arrow Stay pack, which is, I think, a 22 or a 24, depending on which one they sent. Hopefully those come. Hopefully we can sit down and do a trip and jam stuff into them and see what they look like, even if it's day hiking and review those for you guys. But, man, these have only been out. They had some supply problems problems as far as when they were going to hit the market it was supposed to be middle of may then it turned into the middle you know the end of may uh which that's just pandemic but, what we live in yeah now. i think i think they went they were originally planned to go live may 15th i think they were the 25th when they went live yep carrie was on the site and bought it the day that it that it became available um and thanks to the folks at at gregory and and chad for hooking me up with a, a discount code so I was getting get a little bit of a at a better price. It was here two days later, I think it was. Like it, yeah. it shipped super quick once that. Um, they got they yeah. got free two day shipping up on the site right now, so you can get your hands on these bags. They're going quickly. John and I talked uh, a day or two, maybe after they came out, and they were disappearing uh, off the shelves. They, at that point, they were only on the Gregory Mountain Products website. They're supposed to make their way into an REI store. They may not have enough. They may not have enough. Um, hey, those are the best kind of problems to have, aren't they? They, they are. Uh, I think as long as it's not plates, steel plates. <laughs> yeah, plates. That's a whole other ballgame, um, brother. Anyway, uh, so, I mean, I can't – and one, one more thing to touch on that's pretty cool about the fact that they didn't, they didn't upcharge you for making it for a plus-size person. They are open sourcing this. And if you don't know what that means, that it's just is a simple nutshell way. It just means that, hey, everything we learned about making one of these, we're willing to share with any manufacturer. So I'm out here right now beating the drum. I don't care if you're Osprey, Hyperlite, anybody else. Get your tail over to freaking Gregory Mountain Products. And learn something and start making bags for, for bigger people or people of diverse size. Because it really doesn't even matter if they're tall and big. They might be short and big. They might be... They're not going to be recon mic size. I don't think this bike is necessarily or bag is necessarily intended for him. But um, you know, but there's already a lot of bags made for Mike and yeah. people shaped like Mike, yeah. and that's that's what part of makes this so exciting. And there was one other feature on this cat mic that I was going to mention to you while we're at it. Yeah, this is cool. Is so there's a zipper on the side that opens up, and I've ex I'm exposed to the whole pack top to bottom from the side now. Yeah. So I don't have to go. I don't. I can get if I've got something I'm like oh man, I made a packing error. I put something that I need to get to, and it's your halfway down. Your raincoat. If it's I good. put my raincoat now, yeah. Now we've been hiking enough. Typically, we don't make that mistake anymore. My raincoat goes out here somewhere, somewhere I can yeah. get to it. But if for some reason you forget, or your hat's down there, or something like that, you can open this thing from the, up from the side, get to it, get out. Close that thing back up and continue on your way. You don't you don't have to completely unpack half your bag to get to that one thing. Um, I have done I have left my cooking pot down there because I thought I wasn't going to need it till later and I wanted it for something you know something like that. Yeah. Um, or my Nalgene because I I, I started carrying a Nalgene because I like making these these 
recovery shakes is another situation where I'm adding weight for my own comfort. These recovery yeah. shakes make all the difference in how I feel at the end of the day. So I carry the extra weight of analogy. All right. I'm not going on a through hike. An extra two ounces or three or whatever it is. Isn't going to hurt you. Might slow me down a little bit, as we found out in Shenandoah. <laughs> of course, that <laughs> might have just been in other reasons. But, but yeah, all in all, so far, super excited about trying it. Uh, like, it's, it's probably bigger than I need. Um, if this thing goes like they think it does and they uh, like, they think it's going like, it looks like it is like, the, cause it sounds like they're selling them pretty quick. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come out with two different things. And, and I'm kind of specifically focusing on as you start to hike more, as we want to go down in weight. Hi, Miss Pinkston. Uh Oh, mom. Uh, <laughs> she said, great job. Lots of info. Yep. Um, it an ultra light, and I mean, as close like making the concessions that we need for the size that we are. Yeah. But, but technically, if I were going to go make a, a a gear like perfect for me, I probably wouldn't have quite as many zippers and 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 internal options. I would be a little bit somewhere between your hyperlite and, and here awesome. is yeah. well or here. Yeah. You know, because they're they're um, they're comparative. Those, yeah, the Osprey and that AG, other than the fa the plus size aspect to it. Yeah, um, which is, I mean, for us, is, I mean, as you know, that's that's the thing we're most excited about about this is the fact that this thing goes on your hips. You can tug on the and um, the pockets are accessible while walking. You can just reach over and open it and close it. And super excited by that. Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, a better way to explain, uh, you know, or another way we might say this is when when, Abe, when when Rooster showed this to me the other morning, I mean, him and I are looking at it, and within just a few minutes, we found five or six things we felt like we're not going to, but we felt like could be cut off of that bag to dramatically start to reduce the weight quickly. And there are guys yeah. who do that. I, I caution you to do that. Make sure you wear it long enough and you feel comfortable to really figure <laughs> out what you don't want. I see uh, Rooster or Recon has moved to the uh, – the stage lighting there. He's <laughs> That's right. It was getting a little dark. I, I didn't realize that. Yeah, you know, and to hit up on, on what Chad was just saying is that you don't want to spend a couple hundred bucks on a really nice bag, then hack it up, and then all of a sudden you can't even use it because you hacked it up too much. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. just be cautious when you do that because that's the last thing you want to do is have to buy another one because you hacked it too much, you know. Yep, yep, that's for sure. Rooster, do we have any other questions or any other comments that came in by chance? Uh, I, not today. I, that the, uh, the fluffy comment and Mr. Pinkston <laughs> saying good job and giving lots of information are the two, th two last ones that we've got in. Well, but yeah. You know. Shout out. Yeah. I shout out to Gregory though, because it's, it's quality, well-built pack. I can tell that just by the handling that I've done with it. Yeah. Um, and I think probably in a, in a not too distant future, uh, trip has a new pack that he's probably going to want to get on and talk to people about a little bit as well. But this this was, you know, the, this specifically getting this in our hands and able to it's a big thing, man. Trying to, you know, talking about it. And again, everything from the angle of the, the shoulder straps all the way down, you, you can tell when you put it on and you're a big guy. Hi, Carrie Lynn. Oh, uh, Trump said that he liked the pack, too. Uh, yeah, Trip, so, so, yeah. So let me say something about that. So Trip tried it on. He was with us as well. Um, and for for a normal for a standard size guy, it 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 fit. It even fit him well. There is stuff they're going to learn from this pack design that is going to benefit everybody from Alan and I to Recon Mike to you know Yogi Bear to Trip to whoever. Um, yeah, there's so. going to be there's going to be some cool stuff they learned. Um, yeah, I, it, like though. I said, it's it's a. Uh, for me, there was a lot of things, and it was kind of funny at first. I'll tell this little quick story. Um, I first brought the pack out to show the guys, and Trip tried it on. He's like, "Yeah, that's 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 nice. That feels pretty good." Um, and then I said, "Hey, Chad, you you want to try it on?" And he looked me straight in the eye and said, mm -mm. "Nope. <laughs> if I try it on, I'm gonna like it, and I'm gonna want one." So. Uh -uh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this five minutes later, he's like, "Give me that daggum thing." 
Yeah, this is a completely <laughs> accurate story. I, I cannot tell a lot. If I, I want one. Hopefully, Gregory is going to come through, and we can try this thing out and, and, and show you guys some more. I will say this. Well, one thing I have learned from having two packs on the wall back there is I got options. Uh, we got ready to go to Shenandoah. Um, and the temperature dropped. It just would not come back up. So we're taking thicker sleeping bags. I'm taking longer, you know, more clothes, that sort of thing. Um, thicker, my th- took my thicker sleeping pad, and it was simple to just roll over from the Hyperlite to the Osprey and feel comfortable about what I had. And so it's always good to have options. So as you start to really build yourself through this uh, through this hobby, uh, don't don't get yourself stuck on one bag or uh, you know a hammock versus a tent unless you're just that type of guy that can only sleep in one or the other. It's it's awesome to go out and have options, especially with sleeping bags, multiple temperatures of sleeping bags, quilts, whatever you want. It's always cool to have options when you get ready to pack your bag. In fact, I think I had packed the Hyperlight for Shenandoah, and three days before, I just completely ditched the entire setup and went with the Osprey. Uh, and I was, I was happy with it, so it was cool to have options. So uh, anything else you fellas want to add? So, oh, we just got a comment from uh, a – Carol Horde saying, did Joel teach you all this stuff? <laughs> so Joel, Joel is one of the guys in the old man hiking club. That might be Joel, you know, acting like he's Carol Ann. Who knows? Oh, doing, uh, doing little, doing little puppeteering. Yeah. yeah. Little puppeteering uh-huh. there. Yeah. So Joel, Joel has taught, Joel has taught me a lot, taught me a lot. And I hope to have him on the show one day. He apparently is a little shy. He doesn't like this type of stuff uh, too much, but I hope to get him and, and another guy named Al on, uh, Think you know th- their trail names are details because Al always comes up with the details for the trip. Buttons because Joel always has this button down shirt. And then there's another guy named John who's pretty cool. I call him Pockets. Y'all have heard me talk about him before. He walks with no trekking pole with his hands in his pockets, uh, and it will it will crush your soul to see him doing it. Um, but uh, yeah, cool guys. We'll talk about them another time. But hey, uh, we appreciate you, uh, Recon and Rooster, taking the time. A uh, couple of shout outs again. That was uh, Hilltop Packs. Check them out online for that bag. If you're going to get one of these chairs, make sure you measure it up. Uh, work with Ben's guys. I think it's HilltopPacks.com. And and one last thing to say about Gregory. So, uh oh, what, what is it, Rooster? It's got to be. Car- no, it is Carolyn. You don't hide your stuff from your wife. <laughs> we don't. We don't. Joe might. You might want to go check with him and you, see what else he's got. So yeah, well, I oh hey, guess who's here? Hey, there is Al. What's up, Al? <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, the one thing I will say is your comment about options, and and I will say <laughs> she said he does. <laughs> I guess does, Joel does hide some stuff. So one thing I will say is that I don't think any of us have not at some point had something show up to the house without explanation. And um, I'm just saying, I remember a certain box with with the word Z packs on the side of it that may or may not have showed up at the Pinkston household. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this, the one thing about having the options and, and having, you know, this is one of those things where once you got your base gear, you can add on a little bit at the time, sometimes not too expensive, sometimes super expensive, but, but you can add on pieces a little bit at a time because at the end of the day, that backpack is your world for those few days. And so as you find the gear that works best for you, like sometimes it makes sense to carry a little luxury item or a little weight. And sometimes for some people, it's a second pillow. Sometimes for some people, it's a one pound chair, or a two pound chair. If you're through hiking, I, and I said this on our last hike, if I'm going on a like the foothills trail or, or the AT for long distances or something like that. Am I going to carry a two pound chair? No, Mm-mm. but that's not what I'm doing. Right. We're not I'm walking doing for, I'm walking for two no. to three days. Right. And so exactly right. For that, yeah. um, yeah, ounces make pain and pain I mean, ounces make pounds and pounds make pain, but you know what? I want to be comfortable at the end of the day. I don't want to be sitting there like trying to find a comfortable spot on a rock. I've tried. It's difficult. It's I have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and it's not um, just the end of the day. It's it's at lunchtime when you're taking your lunch okay. break and all that stuff. You know? well, yeah. <laughs> it it takes just two minutes, like yeah. not even, to take that thing out and flop it open and throw the and throw the the back on it, and you're sitting there having lunch and getting some rest, actual rest. rest. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know about you, but when I sit on the ground at my age and weight, I cannot call that rest because yeah. by the time I try to get up. It's a whole nother athletic endeavor, right? It's a, it's like it's like yeah. oh, and and you're sore and everything else. 
But that, I mean, that goes true for, for, for trees that have fallen too. that, that first campsite we had at Shenandoah where we all sat around and I think we had dinner right beside your hammock rooster. You remember yep. that, yep. um, that, that log was sitting like this and I was sitting perpendicular to the log <laughs> on a slope, which means I'm sitting like this. So I'm yep. having to work to make sure I'm not sliding down this log and that, that, that shouldn't, I'm not relaxed. I mean, look at Recon Mike. I mean, the man is relaxed. Look at that. Um, <laughs> well, so, and you right. learn pretty quick, like uphills and downhills, like you can tilt it and put yourself in the right direction and you don't feel like you're falling over, just depending on the hills and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Brian, yeah. Brian Vogel said, terrible campsite. Ter uh, that was I don't know. Campsite. It, it seemed fine for me because well, you were hanging in a tree. Like, I was hanging in a tree. In a tree. Yes. over a branch <laughs> flat <laughs> um, spots are optional okay so uh just sort of sort of to wrap up i mean i we we don't have another trip scheduled yet we need to it's summer times here guys got trying to get out and go on vacation the industry that that uh, rooster and i uh work in is extremely busy um so it, it's hard for us to get away right now um you know, so hopefully we'll get a trip scheduled. I do have some other show ideas. Uh, I want to get a guy from from a shoe company on or a shoe store on to talk to us more about footwear. Um, I still need to interview a, a, a good friend of mine, a, a, a guy who's been in my life since I was a little fella um, and is still in my life in some some fashion. Uh, he went out on his first hike after several years uh, since his 20s. And I think he's in his late 50s, maybe his 60s now. I'd like to get him on the show to sort of talk to you guys about his experience. He's a he's a he's a bigger guy. Um, not, I don't think he's anywhere near the size of Rooster and I, but he is a, he is a bigger guy, so it'd be cool to have him on. Trip picked up a new pack, a, a ULA pack, and we want to. I want to give him. I didn't want two packs on here that that were sort of fighting against each other, especially when we knew the Gregory pack was coming, and we were so hyped about that. So I'd like to get Trip on and talk about his ULA pack, um, and then uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes. I, I want to get Al, who jumped in earlier, get him and Joel on to just sort of talk about a, a hundred different things. Um, but we got all that coming. Uh, hopefully, uh, we got the, you know, we're turning stuff into podcasts when we can. Um, we seem to be more focused on the YouTube just because it's easier right now. It takes less time. Uh, and then uh, one comment I was going to say earlier before we go, you know, we keep talking about Gregory and on the wall behind me is Hyperlite, Big Agnes, Superior Gear, Osprey. We're not stuck to any one brand. No. It, it is nice that Gregory is sending me packs, I hope. Um, Thanks for hanging it, out, Jay Lee. He's, yeah, he's headed uh, out. He's out. Yeah. 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 Um, and, you know, and it'll be cool to try those out. But, and they are the first ones to really go after this this demographic of, of diverse body size. But they're not they ain't paying us. <laughs> we're not we're not yeah. loyal to any one brand. If others pick it up, we'll go after it. So don't don't you know, don't think we're we're just Gregory packs. We're not. Yeah. It's, it's anything back there on, you know, the you Su get your super appreciative on. for having John on and his time and everything else. Yep. And if you guys have ideas for things you'd like to see, I mean, John had mentioned to us possibly getting him on for a, a backpack fitting uh, session or something like yep. that. If there's things that you guys think like, hey, I'm thinking about getting into backpacking. I've had, I tell you what, this is kind of funny, Chad. It, it, this is your podcast, but the number of people that have come to me in my personal life because of the things we're doing on Facebook and, and YouTube and everything else, um, people from church, people from, from, uh, just friends that from here in town, uh, hitting my wife up like, Hey, I see Alan's doing hiking. I've been thinking about getting into it. And some of them are, are larger folks. Some of them are smaller folks. The fact is it's exciting. And I, I mean, I wanted to thank you for the opportunity to get out here and talk about it because it opened you and, and Brian opened me up to hiking as a, as a hobby. And, and that's opening up, opening it up for others. And so I just wanted to say that to you guys, just to uh, give you a little shout out. So thank you so much for the opportunity to come on here and just be us about stuff we we would talk about anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and honestly, not, not to, this could be a whole nother episode. I have days where we don't see any movement. There's no new <laughs> Facebook follow. There's no new YouTube watch. And, and, and Rooster will tell you, I call him and I'm like, what are we doing? I'm going to unplug the stuff right now. And then that guy, uh, Jay, Jay Lee, was that his name? I think Jay Lee. Yeah. Yeah. He, he hits me up just out of the blue and says, dude, 
I love the podcast. No, you know, nobody else is really talking about stuff like, quite like that. Um, and, and I appreciate it. And he talks about where he lives and where they hike at. And, and suddenly I'm like, we got, we got to get back on. Like, can we go live right now and talk about something? So I, I, it sounds cheesy, but you got to subscribe. You got to like, you got to repost stuff that I put up there so that we can get more people to follow because that's the only real way I have to measure whether or not we're making any difference other than rooster or recon Mike saying, Hey, somebody at church hit me up about this. Or, you know, what do you think about this pack? Or have you seen these shoes, whatever the case may be. So I, I, we really appreciate the support we're getting from everybody. We, you know, it's, this is straight up, you know, grassroots stuff we're doing here. There's, there's not a whole lot of fancy things um, going on here. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate rooster and recon that coming on a lot trip. He, he gives us a lot of feedback too. And like I said, we'll try to have him on soon for his ULA pack. Um, and, and there's some other guys that I think people could learn from that I hope to have hope to have on soon before the summer's over with. So make sure you like us, follow us, subscribe, whatever the case may be. Hit me up with questions if you got them. Look out for those bears if you're in North Carolina or Tennessee. And keep on hiking. Just go hiking. See you, fellas. See you, guys. How are we going, guys? <laughs>